Um, thank you so much for coming to our first alumni panel night. Um, I'm not sure, hopefully it's going to flow well and everything. Um, we're really, um, at our info sessions and everything, you guys get to hear about the, you know, the logistics of our program and maybe talk to ambassadors there, but we really wanted to um, teach you guys a little bit about what can actually, what you can do with your SBI business minor after the program. And that's why we have some of our alumni panelists here tonight who volunteered their time to talk about what they've done after SBI. They all did it between 2011 and 2013, so the last couple of years. Um, and we have every school represented, art, science, nursing, and engineering. So um, I hope that you guys can um, get a good idea of what you can do with a business minor if you decide to do that. Um, I guess I'll introduce myself, too. Um, I'm Rachel uh, Cohen, the um, SBI intern for the last um, two semesters, and I did social media with my other interns, uh, Greg, Megan, and G. And hope you guys follow us on Instagram and Twitter and like us on Facebook. Um, I did SBI in 2012, two summers ago. Um, I'm a math major, and I got a business analytics minor after the program, which we'll talk about how you can get um, a minor in business school afterwards. Um, I had an internship in Shanghai, China, right after the program, like two like two weeks after SBI, I went abroad to China. Within um, a week of coming home, or within a month of coming home, I had um, an internship in the summer in New York at um, Cody, which is a beauty and um, fragrance company. I had a sales finance internship there. Um, currently, I got my internship today, or sorry, a job interview today, KPMG, so I'm still like a little frazzled, but um, we'll see what's going to happen. But tonight um, is it really about like, my story. I hope you guys, you guys can feel free to ask more about me um, afterwards, Q&A, or after the program, but I'm going to talk about what the our panelists here have done. So, get started. And I'd also like to introduce Trish Berto, of course. She has been the director of the SBI program for the last, like, ten, five years, five years. <laughs> and she just recently moved on to a different position, so um, we um, don't really have someone currently directly in charge besides me, I guess. But um, Trish is still here to answer any questions, and she's very familiar with the program. She obviously, she, like, basically developed it. And um, she can here to help you at any time. One of the reasons I'm here is because I so firmly believe in the value of the program. So despite the fact that I stepped away from it, um, I, I still will always be committed to the value that this program can provide you students. So don't hesitate to ask questions until the, my, my replacement steps in. So um, I guess we'll get started by introducing our panelists. Um, if you guys just want to say your name and your major and then your SBI year and your graduation year, we can just kind of go down the line. Okay, I'm Ashley Reed. Um, my major was math. Um, I graduated in 2013, and I did SBI in 2013. Um, so yeah, like, get it all. <laughs> my name is Joe. I graduate in December. I'm a major in French and political science, and I did SBI in 2013. My name is Colleen. I'm a nursing student. I'll be graduating in 2015, and I did SBI this past summer. Hi, I'm Victoria. I'm a senior economics major um, in arts and sciences, and I did SBI in 2011 after my freshman year. I'm Caitlin. I'm a mechanical engineer. I did SBI 2012, and I'm graduating in 2014. Hi, I'm Pat McTish. I am a junior civil engineering major, and um, I completed the SBI program this past summer. Um, so the first thing I kind of want to talk about is the years that they chose to do SBI. Um, we've actually been seeing a trend where like, 80, like last summer, 80% of the students who did SBI were freshmen and sophomores. So I know that um, Caitlin, Colleen, and Pat, you guys were sophomores when you did it. Is that correct? So you guys want to kind of talk about um, why you chose to do it sophomore year, or if you would have, if you could have gone back, you know, would you have chose to do it freshman year, maybe? Um, something, some kind of advantages or disadvantages of that. Sure, I can do that. Um, so I did it sophomore year. I decided to do it then because I, the end of the freshman year, I didn't think I really wanted to stay on campus. I wanted to go home, see my friends from high school, and I had a lifeguarding job that I still wanted to do. Um, and I figured doing it sophomore year still gave me an opportunity to do an internship this past summer. And going back, I would, I guess I wouldn't have mind doing it freshman year, um, but I still am glad with my choice. Yeah, I did it after my sophomore year. Um, I wasn't ready to go home either freshman year, or to stay freshman year, but I actually wish I did it freshman year, just because um, I think a lot of people had good jobs for the future, for our future career over our sophomore year summer, but I still think this was a great opportunity and will advance my career as well. So. 
Yeah, I did my sophomore year too, just because I felt like after my freshman year, I was kind of worried I would be a little overwhelmed with the workload. Um, just And I learned from other people that they typically did it between their sophomore and junior years too, so I felt like I wasn't ready yet. So I also had um, an intern, I already had an internship lined up anyway, so it wouldn't have worked out. But um, yeah, I did it af after um, my sophomore year, and you know, looking back and seeing all the, all the freshmen that were in my class, I am confident I would, I would have been ready to do it. And um, I don't know if I would have still done it. It probably would have, I mean, if I didn't have the internship, I definitely would have done it. I felt like the, the workload was really manageable. For, um, that it wasn't overwhelming like I thought it would be. Um, I did it as a freshman because I knew that uh, I wanted to sort of go in a more business direction. I wanted to stay in arts and sciences and have a liberal arts degree. Um, but as an economics major, I knew that I sort of wanted to tailor my Villanova experience towards business. Um, so that was sort of my motivation of wanting to do SBI in the first place. And it worked out well for me because I was able to have like business related internships summer after sophomore year and summer after junior year. Um, and so it's, I feel like it's been sort of a successful decision for me. And then Bill was a junior, right? Right. Ashley, can you say something about that junior year? <laughs> um, sure. Well, my first two summers uh, of college were a lot of fun. I studied abroad one summer and I had an internship in D.C. the, the following summer. Um, but then my brother, like my family knew about this program and my brother put it best when he said, like you've had your fun summers, like if you have one summer with a little bit of work in it, it'll lead to, you know, a thousand more awesome summers. And that, I think that was really what got me to do it finally. And um, for me, it wasn't until my last year at Villanova that I took a course um, in financial math. All my other courses were just theoretical math and I never got to take um, like an application of math. Um, so I did SBI because I was finally interested in finance. Um, but surprisingly, I went into SBI doing finance. It came out doing something completely um, different. So that was pretty exciting for me. Um, thank you. I just got a note to speak up because we don't have a mic for the thing. So anyway. Um, but anyway, so um, everyone kind of has different preference when they want to do it. Basically, you know what works for you. So you can hear different perspectives and decide what's best for you. Um, I wanted to get into the courses a little bit. Um, so one of our courses that's like a major course at SBI is a competitive effectiveness course, which is um, a mix of marketing and management. Um, a lot of students during this class can get frustrated because it's, they're not used to this. They're in this team of like eight people and um, it's like only three weeks to complete this really big project. Um, but a lot of students tend to realize afterwards the value of that class. So I know that um, Colleen was the leader of her group. So do you want to talk about, you know, like the challenges that you faced when you were during the SBI or during competitive effectiveness project and then kind of how you're going to use it afterwards? And do you think that, um, mm. you know, it was, were you frustrated during it and do you see the value of it now kind of thing? I had an awesome group. So um, we didn't have that many difficulties. It was mostly um, time management because we were also taking another class and had tests in competitive effectiveness as well. So we had to really manage our time and kind of set out a timeline before we really executed anything, just so we knew that we would have everything done. So we did that, and then it was also interesting to bring in a mix of different perspectives, because we had some engineers, we had some arts and sciences, and um, I'm a nurse, so we just had a lot of different like backgrounds that coming into it, so it was interesting how we had to mesh them all together to create an end product. And then um, Patrick, I know your team actually made it to um, the final round. So during SBI, you actually work with like a real client who comes in with, a, with an issue. And if you kind of advance to this final round, you'll get to present to the actual client. Um, do you want to talk about that experience and also like the challenges that your team faced and how you're going to use them in the future? Yeah. Um, so the 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 client that, that came this year was um, the Knoll Corporation, which is um if you're not familiar with them, it's a uh, large firm. Um, Office furniture supplier and um, manufacturer, but uh, they um, they um, bunch of companies um, every year you know come to SBI and they um, deliver this this problem that they're that they're currently having and they um, supply the students with this question and we have to develop a plan around it and um, this past year for Noel was that they were trying to get into the um, 
actually the higher education market, um, you know, colleges and universities. And um, so our goal was to develop a marketing plan to kind of get the get their product out there and um, to get um, uh, have people get interested in it. So, um, you know, we managed you know, we managed to get to the finals with our um, with our marketing plan. Not going into too many details. Our plan was just to um, um, have them make have a bigger presence at this uh, event called NeoCon, which is basically the Comic Con of uh, furniture, and um, also to kind of go to different. Um, large markets, you know, like Philadelphia, New York, where a bunch of colleges are, um, are there and um, have like a showroom and um, to get um, colleges to, to come and see their product. And um, basically the challenge, the challenges that we had um, were, yeah, were just the same. We're, we didn't, it was basically time management. You know, we, we all wanted to put out the best product and we worked well together. It was just a matter of like finding the time to execute it because you know, we had so many other things going on and just, um, you know, classes until four and um, then, you know, other tests and homework to, to complete. So it was just a matter of time management. But, um, you know, we worked together and, um, you know, split up all the work evenly and came together and put together a finished product. Um, I want to say, how, just for me, how uh, this is, I actually, at my interview today, they were talking about how they were so focused on the teamwork and, you know, like, and I was talking about, actually, I actually talked about the competitive effect of this product, project, and um, my interviewer said he was so particularly proud of it. Um, so that was just, it was just a real-time example. Um, but do any of the other people in, like, who applied for jobs or anything, um, or been in the workforce, which we'll get into in a little bit, um, how has the teamwork and the time management aspect of the CE project kind of helped you out there? If anyone else wants to step in. Um, well, my group sort of had more struggles, the different personalities for us at least. It sort of took longer for us to sort of figure out a balance in terms of leadership and um, sort of organization. So for me, it was learning experience in terms of, you know, if you're in a class um, that's, you know, within your major and you're doing a project, it's sort of similarly minded people. Um, whereas this, it's like you really had to learn to sort of deal with people and interact with people um, working towards this common goal. So I think that it was actually sort of a very valuable skill that was different um, from a normal class just because of the nature of the program. The thing I would say about C for SBI and specifically is that you're already in class with these people for seven weeks before you figure out who your group is and who you'll be working with. So it's kind of a different dynamic than what the business students go through uh, because you kind of already know that these people very well. So like in work, everything you do has a deadline eventually, and eventually you're going to work with a team no matter what. And what CE really taught me is the effectiveness of working as a team, and it's way better than a bunch of individuals working for themselves. And when you're working as a team, it might be a little tough at sometimes getting to that deadline and getting your goals, but you make a really, really awesome product. Thanks. Um, and uh, also, as we transition into kind of after math with SBI, um, I wanted to ask if you had specific, um, really, like how did that professional success course that we, you took really um, help you out there? For me, personally, I don't know what I would, at last night, um, for this interview, we went to Budokan, and you know, so we went, we had a, uh, a during SBI, we have a business etiquette luncheon, thank God, I'm <laughs> <laughs> from yesterday. Um, the other thing I really liked about the professional success course for me was the, um, they taught you everything about getting on go nova jobs, which does anyone know what that is? Some people. So you'll learn about it and basically like how you apply to jobs at Villanova. So really, I'm really glad that they, I mean, no one else at Villanova taught that to me. Um, does anyone else want to step in as a professional success? Yeah, I agree. The resources you learn from the Career Center is so helpful. Um, I actually got a job right in the middle of SBI through go nova. Um, I, and I only knew about it through um, the professional success course. We had like an assignment at the time just seemed, you know, like, why do we have to do this? But then later, a month later, when I applied for the job and got it, it was like, oh, like, this is why. And it really, really helped. So um, I didn't take the job, but I did get a job from, from it. So that was good. It was that same assignment, probably. I got a job and I took it. Um, <laughs> and it, it was, I mean, that's such a gift. And then with the etiquette thing and everything. 
a lot of my, what my job entails is going to events and there's a lot of networking and eating um, and there is an art to it and I'm, I'm, I've always had good manners but the professional mannerisms are, are a whole nother ball game and it's good to know. Yeah, I agree. I mean, the, I think the most important thing you can do to get a job is to network and so going through this class it showed you not only how to do it at dinners but how to do it online, um, the Nova Connections. I've talked to maybe five or six people now who are alumni who I found through the Villanova Connections and they're just so excited to help current students and um, do what they can. So learning about that was definitely useful. Yeah. Right. Oh, okay. Um, so, uh, the, um, one of the events that we had was a networking um, networking event and it was just good experience for me because I've never had a job interview before so it was great just to be able to inter interact with employers and try to you know present myself in a you know marketable fashion in a positive light so it was, it was a good experience for that. I was just at the Career Center this week and the only reason I was there was because I learned all about their resources this summer and I went in there and had a list of things that I wanted to ask them and they went right through it with me but had I not done SBI I would not have known any of the things to ask them and probably would have left without a lot of it and also during SBI we did practice interviews and that was very very helpful and we did one on Skype and then they sent us back our um, feedback and we had to watch ourselves do it also which was <laughs> not as fun but <laughs> It was I think, helpful. Yeah, I agree that it was definitely sort of a beneficial course for me, um, especially having done it sort of earlier in my Villanova career. Um, it was always very useful to me understanding how LinkedIn worked and Villanova jobs and everything like that. Um, and I'm actually like the career and personal development chair in my sorority now. So I've been able to like utilize it there and help other people sort of learn about, you know, different things like that and um, help edit, like look at resumes for friends and things like that. Actually, I'm really glad you guys brought up the networking because I forgot about that. But um, yeah, so yesterday, this is like really weird that I had a timing interview with this. I found out about it last week. But so yesterday at my, it was a networking dinner. So that was like a double whammy thing for SBI because we had a, we have a networking reception during SBI and it's basically like you get to practice networking. Um, so it's like, I mean, you still will get a little nervous, I guess, but it's kind of like supposed to be like no pressure. Like they know that it's your first time networking. So if you don't have like, if you just have to go one day and network, um, you're probably going to be really nervous your first time and you're not going to have the opportunity to practice. But when you, when you can basically, yeah, when you can practice, like it'll help your second time be, your second time, which is going to be your first real time, will be better. Um, so I wanted to um, talk about, I guess, like some of you guys have had internships after SBI or maybe have jobs now. Um, I guess I'll kind of just go in a random order. Um, Caitlin had an internship last summer, right, at yes. Six of course, here. Ski Aircraft. And to remind you, she's an engineer, so she has a business minor under that. So I'm um, going to talk about like the position that you have, and I guess the interviewing process and how. Sure. Yeah. Uh, so I worked at Corsi Aircraft, which is a United Technologies company, and they produce helicopters for the military and for commercial use. And I was a business development intern. <clears throat> so sorry. <laughs> so I got to work with a team that does investments and acquisitions of uh, smaller aerospace companies for strategic purposes. So they invest not to make money, but they invest to acquire either their patents or their people. So it was a really good way to combine my business experience with my engineering experience. Um, as far as the interview process goes, again, it was definitely through networking that I got that. Um, being from Connecticut and Sikorsky's headquartered in Connecticut, I knew some people that worked there. So I gave them my resume and cover letter. They put it into their system, and somebody else at the company found it through that um, network that they have. And called me up and we had an interview and they offered me the job the next day. Is there anything, um, by the way, I don't mean to ask like leading questions because I don't want to be like, did this be a happy internship? Like obviously they'll say yes, but I'm kind of just, you know, trying to, I know like what they want to talk about. So anyway, um, is there anything that you think would have been different or you would have um, been less familiar with or nervous about if you didn't do SBI at your I mean, I don't think I would have had the opportunity to have that internship if I didn't have the business experience on my resume. So I think that's definitely something they were looking for for that specific position. Um, and then in terms of the networking, when I was working there, I had to work with people not only inside the company, but I had to do a lot of connections to outside companies as well. And I think that the experience I had here, um, not only with the professional development class that we had, um, but just within the classes itself, it put me in a good position and they trusted me to do that for them, which was very nice. Thanks for 
Andrea, I guess, um, asked the same question. Victoria intern Paul Sunday and Credit Suisse and your economics major. Mm -hmm. And so, I, yeah, you want to kind of answer some questions? I'd like to jump in sure. actually before you respond because I just want to mention that Victoria and one other student from SBI were two of five, and correct me if I'm wrong, two of five students that were offered positions. Um, the three others were business students. And it's very atypical for a non business student to have a position at Credit Suisse. Am I, am I correct? So hats off to Victoria for sure. <laughs> uh, if I may just jump in and do that. I mean, I, I thought that was great. And then Sneha, another student who got that. And that was, they just couldn't believe it. So, again, Value. Yeah, so I did SBI the summer after my freshman year. Um, summer after my sophomore year, I had an internship at the New York Stock Exchange um, that I got not sort of through the Villanova network, but through uh, personal connections and networking. Um, and then the summer, when I was studying abroad in the fall of my junior year, um, I applied through Villanova Jobs uh, to the internship at Credit Suisse, among others. Um, did a phone interview with a Villanova alum while I was abroad. Um, and then from there, the Villanova alums sort of screen people and then make their recommendations um, to Credit Suisse in terms of who they think would be good candidates for the internship. So I worked there last summer um, in a finance internship. So the group that I was in wasn't doing um, sort of strict finance. Uh, they were more of like a strategy type group, um, but it was a finance program. Um, the other people that were interning with me. There were six of us in the finance program. Um, the other five were all either accounting or finance majors in business schools. So I didn't have a, the same exact background as them. Um, but then of those six, there were only four of us that were offered uh, jobs at the end of the summer. Um, and they offered it to us like three days after we finished. We finished on a Friday and on Monday, um, I got the job offer. So it was really nice sort of seeing the hard work that I'd put in earlier in my Villanova career sort of like coming to fruition and not having to worry about um, interviewing and everything senior year. So it's been definitely beneficial for me and my experience in interviewing is that um, employers really, really respect that you're willing to spend an entire summer in class from nine to four, you know, doing work and studying. Um, and I think that they, it shows them that you're really dedicated to sort of self-development um, and to your education and your career. I'm actually, I know I keep talking about my interview happened today, but it's kind of fresh in my mind. So during my interview um, today, I was, I was the same thing up against a lot of accounting and finance. And I was talking to my interviewer, like, oh, is this a weakness or anything? Like, um, and he said, no, like, we're looking for bright people and you know, business background. It's great. Um, sounds like a direct quote. So, um, I, and for you, I guess, was, or did you feel like kind of inferior at all, like have, being against like all the finance and kind of people? Because I'm, I'm finding personally that there, you know, you get the job and everyone trains and everyone starts at the same level regardless of you know your major. Would you like agree? Or yeah, absolutely. Say? We had um, like a week of training when I first started my internship to sort of get everybody on the same playing field. Um, when I start in July, there'll be three weeks of training. Um, to get everybody on the same playing field. And, and like you said, companies that I've spoke to in interviews, they're really just looking for people who sort of have the right mindset and are willing to like put in the effort. Um, and it's less about like the specific skills that you have because uh, my experience has that been that a lot of what happens in the business world um, is more stuff that you have to just sort of like pick up on the go as opposed to something that you can learn in a classroom. Um, I guess we'll go to so you are working with, and it's not an internship, you had a part-time job, right? I'm, I'm working on the staff of State Representative Rosita Youngblood in Northwest Philadelphia. I applied for it this summer through the homework assignment. <laughs> I got the job. Um, well, we interview, I interviewed, it was a phone interview and then a face-to-face -face interview. I got the job. Um, I guess I didn't read my resume that well. They wanted me to start the next week, but I'm <laughs> still a student here. And I graduate in December, so they have me part time now, and I'll be full time in December. Um, and I guess, like, I mean, that's such a gift that it was a homework assignment, and I found a job on it. Um, but what else did you? Um, I was gonna, I guess, just kind of what, what are you doing? I was kind of going around the lines of, you know, when you do SBI, like, you have like a political kind of internship or job, and then you 
like a finance or a mm -hmm. finance center, engineering. So it's kind of like making the point that you can, you don't have to kind of necessarily go into business, but it is helpful. Um, but anyway, um, my next question was basically about the plans for after graduation for ones that have jobs. Um, and I know that Trish already said, I know Victoria has an offer, and I actually didn't know, and that you are also have a job, mm -hmm. and you're in the interviewing process, right, but basically have a job. <laughs> I don't have an official job offer yet, now. <laughs> yeah, but you're um, I, I'm definitely like, confident, I've got a bunch of options right now. So. I have the same situation. My internship pay weren't hiring, but I've been in contact with the guy. He's like begging me to come to New York in the spring. I'm still interviewing other places. But, um, um, and then Ashley, who already graduated, uh, or she did SBI right after she graduated, right? Mm -hmm. And so she's she has a little different kind of unique situation. She's at her sister's startup. Mm -hmm. um, do you want to talk about your, yeah, so she's got like a little entrepreneurship going on. Yeah, um, so like I said before, I was a math major and I entered SBI um, just clearly focused on finance. And... Um, we went through the FMR and you know I was excited to like learn all about the finance accounting, got to management and marketing. I was like, oh, this will be interesting. Um, and then when I finished SBI a month later with my sister who she's in the fry and I came with her today, um, we started a new business. And um, I remember the first week of SBI, my one professor, he was talking about, oh, some of you will be, you know, entrepreneurs starting your own business. And I was just sitting there like, oh, like that's pretty cool. You know, I wonder like who in this class would do it. And then you know, two months later, I'm that person. <laughs> I was just like thinking, wow, that would be really neat. Um, so we started a business, it's called Turquoise, um, and my sister's an artist, and she designs iPhone cases, iPad skins, and MacBook skins. Um, I brought some just to show, this one's probably the easiest to see, but um, so my sister designs these with her um, original photography. So my part of the business is I run the, um, like the finances account, the accounting, and um, I designed the website, so, um, but at, without SBI, I never would have been inspired to help my sister or have any knowledge on marketing, management, finance, accounting, um, economics. I mean, you learn so much in two months that it's unbelievable. Like, I, I can't believe it. Do any of you, I guess, in the working world, um, want to talk about, I guess, I guess maybe you kind of already did, you know, how the, how your, how the business minor is complemented with, like, your specific major. I know um, with math, I'm a math major too, mm -hmm. so the numbers kind of tend to play in a little more, but we have um, engineers and nurses. Anyone want to talk about like the complement of the business with your degree? I, mean, I think it's very important to engineering. I mean, you can design something in engineering, you can come up with this product, but if you can't sell it or you can't figure out how to work with the business people, then it, you're kind of stuck anyway. So I think that there's a big crossover there and that um, if you have both skills, you have a great advantage. For me, it, it, a lot of it for me goes back to like the marketing cycles and when you make your pushes and when you don't. And in our office, we're, we do a lot of community outreach and constituent services, and that's kind of my specialty. And when we're doing community services or community outreach, it's one of those things where you got to strategically plan when you want to have like a flu shot drive or when you're going to have a food drive or when you're going to have a back to a school supply drive, things like that. You can't be wanting to do it all the time because the funds aren't there and you have to take on that strategic thinking that really is so similar to running a business. But you should never think of public service as a business. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm hoping SPI will open opportunities in nursing administration or hospital administration. So I'm looking into that now. <laughs> um, I also wanted to ask, um, I know for the engineers and the nurses particularly you guys have like a really strict curriculum at Villanova um, so I guess it's kind of obvious why they chose to do like SBI as opposed to the academic year minor but um, so I think engineers it's kind of possible but um, so I guess do you guys want to talk about I know the nursing is kind of impossible but um, does anyone else want to talk about why you chose to do um, the, the SBI versus getting an academic year minor yeah, yeah, I can start. Um, yeah, I'm you know a civil engineering major, and I I suppose it is possible to get during during the year, but it's to me it was it would be very difficult. You'd have to overload um on a bunch of courses because you know we have our schedules pretty much set already. So I just thought it would be so much easier just get it, just do it over the summer over ten weeks, 
you can, I don't have to worry about my, you know, my, uh, my major classes. I can worry about the business classes and kind of just focus on that for a summer. So that, mm -hmm. that's the reason why I took it for the summer. That's the, <clears throat> sorry. that's the mindset I had going into it. I didn't want to have to worry about the business classes on top of the engineering classes, thinking that it would be too difficult. Um, but I went through the program and I really liked it, and so I decided to do it anyway. And now I'm taking classes for a finance minor as well, so I'm over overloading anyway. But um, I'm happy that I did it. And I know people who are engineers who are in the process of taking it during the school year, so it's possible, but I would still push for SBI. Yeah, I could have done it um, during the school year, absolutely. I'm in liberal arts, um, so I have a lot of flexibility uh, outside of the core curriculum. Um, but I wanted to do it over the summer mostly just to sort of condense it um, and be able to sort of put on my resume something that I had done and something that I had finished. Um, and I also didn't sort of really know what I wanted to do that summer otherwise. Um, it also sort of for me, not even thinking about it at the time, it wasn't a motivation. Um, but it sort of, because I had 16 extra credits, like in my transcript um, going into sophomore year, I sort of always had a registration time like on the earlier side and it sort of filled up some other requirements for me. So it's left me a lot of flexibility junior and senior year to be able to take classes that are just really genuinely interesting to me. Um, so for me, it gave me sort of a lot of flexibility that I didn't really anticipate. It's an excuse to go to summer school. It's a lot of fun out here in the summer. <laughs> Um, I wish I would have done it earlier, but yeah, I didn't know I was interested in business till my last year. So. Um, my next, I was going to kind of lead into, um, I know that a couple of you, well, most of you like have already been like in the internship job world, but did doing SDI kind of change your mind about what you thought you wanted to do at all? And I know for um, like Patrick and Colleen, you guys are kind of looking right now, maybe for an internship or something this summer because you're juniors. Um, so did SBI like, kind of change your mind about engineering? You don't have to say yes. Just <laughs> <laughs> it made me less afraid of a lot of things because in two different levels, like one, it is it is a bit challenging. And if, once you feel, once you're done with it, you feel like you can do anything. And then I know in my work now, sometimes I do have to run numbers on things and work with stats and work with Excel. And um, I mean, even when I organize events, there's a budget involved. And I'm not afraid to do that anymore. Whereas two summers ago, I, I would have been peeing my pants. Like that. <laughs> I think a lot of it for me, at least, is that um, even if I don't necessarily, like, I'm obviously not a pro at accounting. Um, you know, I just took the one FMR course. But at least when I'm sort of at an internship and people are talking about things and they're talking about, um, you know, their assets or their liabilities or they're talking about, um, you know, a PL, I understand sort of the terminology and I understand the implications of it. And the way SBI is set up so that you learn everything sort of really condensed, um, it helps makes it it helps make it a lot easier to sort of form the connections in terms of how all these different aspects of business relate. So I think that in my internship experience it's sort of um, helped me like see the bigger picture as opposed to like just what my role is. I would say, I mean, it definitely uh, gave me the opportunity to apply to jobs. I applied to all different types of jobs, but I could apply to jobs at banks. Um, and then the job I actually, or the internship I actually took um, is very business oriented. And I wouldn't have had that opportunity. I didn't do it. You know, for me, like, I thought I wanted to go to an expert or something. And I did, I knew nothing about business like, before I did SBI at all. So it kind of, like, I'm kind of only doing business jobs now. I really enjoyed it, but it's not safe for everyone. I was just kind of curious about that. Um, um, is anyone? Oh, so I want to go back to um, the whole SBI, kind of in the, related to the whole SBI versus academic career thing. Um, Kate, Caitlin mentioned she has she's getting another minor afterwards. Um, I don't. I'm not really sure. Are any of you guys pursuing um, a specific minor after? <laughs> I was going to. I'm taking a finance course now, um, and I plan to add the finance minor because my job is in finance. Um, but I sort of decided recently that since it's my last semester, I just want to take some sort of go really liberal arts and take like some history courses and things like that. So um, I'm doing that. But I definitely had that opportunity. And also, they make it very easy for you to sort of sign up for those courses and stuff. Uh, once I declared the finance minor, 
um, I got an email ahead of registration saying like, you know, let us know which courses you're interested in and we can do the overrides ahead of time because in Novasys the credits come in as SBI versus VSB. Um, so they definitely sort of, I felt like it, had I chosen to stick with it, um, it would have been definitely doable. So I'm doing a finance minor, and I'm actually finishing it up this semester, um, but I had so many open spots for next semester, I'm taking more finance classes, because <laughs> I don't know why right now, <laughs> but um, no, I'm actually interested in it, so it's yeah. a good opportunity. So no one has to um, get like, another minor, but a lot of students, um, after they do SPI, kind of decide, like, oh, I really loved marketing, okay. and they decide, uh, and they can go to BSB and actually take BSB classes in marketing and get the full um, minor. Um, I mentioned before I'm doing analytics. I started out actually as international business, um, changed my mind. It's really easy to work with. Um, that's kind of another advantage, I guess, um, something to think about if you do the academic minor versus the SBI, because um, the academic minor takes maybe like at least two years, so um, at least two years, usually maybe a little longer. Um, so by that time, you might not have time to finish out your you know, the three or to five courses to get a further minor. Um, something to think about. Um, I guess, um, so we talked about kind of the full time kind of stuff, but um, Patrick and Colleen, do you guys, um, I kind of mentioned like you're looking into stuff, just like, you know, what are you looking into and do you feel like, uh, I guess again, like did, did SBI change your mind about what you're interested in at all? Or? No, no, I'm, you know, simple. I'm trying to look, right now I'm looking for an internship in, like, either the transportation or environmental fields. And, um, you know, I feel like the business minor just give, makes me more versatile, um, you know, as opposed to someone who, who only has an engineering degree, you know. Um, like Caitlin was saying, you know, engineering is not, it's, there's a whole other business side to it. You know, you have, in order, to, you know, when I, I'm, if I'm designing a bridge or whatever, you know, I have to be within a budget. So I just feel like it makes me more, it makes me more marketable to someone else um, who's looking for that because I feel like I'm um, able to, you know, handle those responsibilities on business side. So I just think it, yeah, it makes me more versatile. Um, I'm just looking into nursing externships now. Um, I did talk to my advisor, and she was suggesting that during my interview process, I could ask them about maybe working on the, like the nursing floor for um, a couple days a week, and then doing administration stuff. For the, the next couple of days and just seeing if they would be open to doing that because there aren't really like nursing administration internships but maybe I could talk to a hospital system and see. So you, so Ashley's actually already like in the working world um, and working for a sister's company and that's, is that pretty much like full time? Yes. A lot of work. Yeah, cause, well, there's three of us. Um, we have another sister. We all graduated from Villanova. Our older, my older sister, she um, has a finance degree, and then I have the math degree and the business minor, and then Courtney um, was communications and elementary ed here at Villanova. So how, um, I guess it's kind of hard to ask, but how do you guys look into, like, does anyone, wait, what were the other degrees? Um, finance is, okay. yeah, yeah, finance, so math, business, right. business, yeah, and then communication and um, elementary ed, but she, this is ironic that um, she had a fine arts requirement um, with her major, and that's where she discovered her, like, artistic talent. She's always been artistic, but it was here at Villanova that she discovered through a, I think it was a watercolor course. Yeah. <laughs> so that's what got it started. But yeah, it's full time. Um, it's a lot of work, but it's rewarding because it's just us, you know, so we're in charge of everything, but it's rewarding. You, um, which, do you think? You don't, like, I guess I'm trying to say, does anyone wish that they, like, after doing SBR, were, like, a business major, as opposed to just having the minor of, like, complementing your um, degree? Um, I don't think so, because I think it makes you more diverse to have, like, I'm math and business. Um, and when I applied for that job during SBI, I uh, went for my interview. They were so impressed with my SBI, because um, I was, like, telling them how I'm in the middle of it. They were really impressed by that. Um, even though it was a financial analyst position and I didn't have a finance minor, just a business minor, they just you know, thought for me to give up my summer um, and do this, they were really impressed by it. So I think it makes you more diverse. Mm -hmm. I didn't have, um, I don't know if you guys have specific examples, but I know that um, having like, I feel like a lot, of, I've heard a lot that people who 
really like having like a business minor as like with a company with like a liberal arts or an engineering and like business students don't usually get the same opportunity like business students can't go and really take engineering classes I'm not sure I don't think so but um, a lot of people find after that a lot of people after us guys talk about like oh I wish this business major um, but usually we'll find out that it's actually could be actually beneficial to you to have that as a minor like complementing another degree um, does anyone have <laughs> any final thoughts or anything? I mean, I would definitely agree. After SBI, I was like, oh, this is really cool. Like, I kind of wish I was a business major. Um, but then after my internship, I am very thankful for having it as my minor and still be able to go out and say that I'm an engineer, I work for an engineering company. Um, but I don't feel that like, I'm at a loss for not having the business major complemented with that. And actually, I think if I took like two more finance classes, I would have the same requirements as a business major would have to graduate. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm very happy to sit, stay within the engineering school and have a business minor. Anyone else wants to like, say any final thoughts about your SPI experience or anything? Um, you feel free. Um, and then we can open it up to questions from you guys and anyone else. Do you questions for me or the panelists or Trish or the other interns? Um, I just want to say for all the liberal arts people here, uh, particularly like myself, um, like it's great you, there's, we take such a diverse range of classes. We learn how to be great writers. And we learn critical thinking on these matters. When you get this business minor, you learn to put more so like the pen to the paper and how to, you know, take what you've learned and do something entrepreneurial or creative or more to share it with other people better, I, I believe. I think it definitely, as a liberal arts student, I think it definitely really complements sort of the core curriculum that we're already taking. Um, and in an interview, I had a conversation with somebody because they had been um, a philosophy major in college and were now working in investment banking. And so they were asking me about sort of my liberal arts background and also my business background. Um, so I think it's definitely something that, you know, works well together. Um, does anyone have any questions for anyone here? Um, and if you ask a question, you get more of them. <laughs> so, yeah. um, what is the application process like and how competitive is it to get it? So, SBI? Um, I guess I can answer that. The application process, um, it opens up December 1st and it um, closes April 15th. So, um, it includes an essay, um, a resume, and your transcript, which you have to get from the registrar, I think. Um, competitive is a hard word to answer for. We kind of, we, there's no minimum GPA, there's no um, you know, requirements really, but we just want to make sure based on your academic background and your extracurriculars, I guess, that you can handle the work. We don't really like to just like kind of deny you know, someone who's really, really interested in business, if you can talk about this in your essay or something, but um, we just want to make sure that you can keep up with coursework, because usually like your GPA or your coursework can um, reflect how well you're going to do in the program. We don't really want people to like not do well in the program. So we just want to make sure basically that it's manageable for you based on your past. <laughs> um, for anyone else, how would you guys compare the workload? I think the workload of like the classes themselves is similar, except that you're taking this class every day, not twice a week. Um, so if usually you would have to sort of like read a certain amount in a book from, you know, Monday to Wednesday, you're doing it from Monday to Tuesday. Um, so there is more of a time crunch because the courses are so condensed and you're in class from nine to four every day. Um, but if you sort of stay on top of it and stay aware of it, um, I think it's definitely manageable and everybody that you're there with is in the exact same boat so it's not unusual for you to just like sit in a room in Bartley or one of like the study lounges in a dorm and like do work together um, because everybody's there dealing with the exact same course load. And also over the summer there aren't very many extracurriculars if at all like there aren't club meetings or whatever so you don't have that time commitment so you have more time to do your work and less distraction. Yeah. Um, are all the 
first three modules. Um, the first module is only like a week long, and it's you're going to take business fundamentals, which is the equivalent to like the BSD business dynamics. Um, it's basically an introduction to like everything from the time. Um, that's one week long. You'll also start your professional success course. Um, professional success goes kind of, it's only like four classes or something, and it's like scattered throughout the summer. Um, the second module um, is about three. And so the flip side of this fact sheet is the yeah. dance around, you'll see the modules that bring those three classes. Yeah, so that's, I'm pretty sure, um, FMR, Financial Management Reporting, and Corporate Responsibility, um, four credits and three credits. And then once you're done that, you're going to take the last two, which is CE, your big project, and five economics. Um, so it's not like you're doing everything at once, it's kind of like, you know, one class and two and two. It's really like a general business minor. Okay. Yeah, and then um, you can go. Yeah, and then uh, people were talking about like, um, also adding on like a finance minor or something when they get back to the normal school year. Yeah. Do SBI courses, um, like do credits from those courses help you get those minors or do they not really transfer over? Um, they, they, they really act as a prerequisite for then the finance and marketing courses or whatever. So the, the FMNR and the CE courses, those two core credit courses, um, they satis typically satisfy the accounting and finance prerequisites, say for a finance or a marketing, uh, that the competitive effectiveness satisfies the prerequisites for marketing courses and so on. So that's how it allows you to move on in upper level DSP courses. Yeah, I think Victoria mentioned, like, it's on your report, whatever it comes in, the SBI, is not even there. But um, once you decide that you want to get the finance minor, that kind of will, like, Trish or whoever will override that as like the actual course that the students take and like that will act as a prerequisite for the next course. So it's not like your two course minor. Um, does that answer your question? Yeah. Um, this question for anybody this year. Do you feel like you've been like shortchanged? I think you actually learn more just because, uh, well, the professors, they teach you not to memorize, but they were really there to like teach you to learn. And I honestly felt like I learned so much in that short amount of time. Because um, you, I know what you mean, like you think that throughout a semester you might learn more. But no, like you're just so focused and um, you somehow just, you know, cram it all in that two months and you learn a lot. I would agree. When I started taking my finance classes for my finance minor, I, it didn't feel like I was behind at all, if anything. It was still fresh in my brain, so I was like, oh, I just did this. Like, I definitely know this, so I wouldn't worry about that. Yeah, I don't feel shortchanged at all. You know, I felt, you know, over those 10 weeks, I was like, kind of eat, sleep, and breathe business for 24-7, so it felt like it was drilled in my brain, <laughs> all the information. <laughs> you know when professors tell you, like, not to wait till the last minute to read, like, during the regular school year, or like, not to wait till the last minute to write an essay? Like, you should just read a little bit every night, but no one does that. Like, you're going to do that at SBI, and that's the right way to learn. So you're not left memorizing. Like, you're learning a lot, and that's so valuable. I also, um, I guess something else that for me is, like, why I preferred the SBI over the business back then. Your minor was because it's all business, it's all assignments. Like, I'm not, like, taking, like, business class, I'm taking, like, history on the side. Like, you're very, like, focused on business, and you realize, like, how many your classes like complement each other so it's kind of like beneficial I think and you'll realize how like much they can mix in which you wouldn't realize if you took like you know marketing this semester and then you took this the next semester like, it's really cool how and it's also cool how like everyone starts at the same like, level and everyone's doing it together so you all kind of like are learning at the same time and just having the same information so. the, the other advantage there is that you're taking the courses with non-business students exclusively as opposed to if you did it during the school year, you would be like in an economics course with economics majors, um, or you know students who want to learn that. So I think that you sort of have that advantage in terms of, um, for me at least, it was definitely less intimidating to you know ask a question or feel like I was confused. Can I jump back to the one question about the application though? Mm -hmm. So I would say it's probably about 75% um, accept rate. And, and 
what what the uh, review committee does look at is want to make sure you have a robust um, GPA. So as Rachel mentioned, we don't list the minimum GPA, but certainly it's someone on small probation that would really make us sit up and take notice because we don't want to bring somebody in that's, that's academically or otherwise fragile, you know, into such an intense program. So so we look at you know, are you coming in strong and solid academically, which tells us during the academic year you're able to handle it. So then most likely with concentrated programs will be okay. And then we also look at the quantitative courses that, that you've taken. Because of the FM and R course, we want to make sure that, that students aren't struggling so much in the quantitative area that it distracts them from learning. So they're the two areas. For some students, they're, they're less quite sure. So we always say, you know, come in and, and speak with, um, you know, one of, the, one of the staff members in the play center to talk about concerns that you might have about the application or about the program. How much, how much of um, the application is like extracurricular? Um, say, because it was as a freshman, I really don't have too much on my resume. That, and that's okay. You know, what we look at the resume, some students, and what I've said before is sometimes maybe they're right on the cusp academically. It's like, well, we're not sure if they're going to struggle, or maybe quantitatively, they're a little bit on the low end where we'd like to see them. But maybe for some reason they, they happen to have a, an internship, uh, maybe to a family member. So they've been exposed to business. So we figure that's going to, you know, certainly complement or supplement their application. Um, if you haven't had a lot of um, experience, if you if you haven't had an internship, if you've been waiting tables or working at Rite Aid, that's fine. We also, because it's such a unique uh, program, we really have to take a look at, you know, you holistically. So academically, are you strong enough? But then, what have your experiences been? And what are you looking for? What's motivating you to do SBI? So I wouldn't worry about the fact that you don't have a whole lot of extracurriculars on your resume. The resume typically is not the deal breaker. If anything, it can maybe help uh, an application that might be a little bit on the, on the weaker end, if that makes sense. The same goes for the essay. It's primarily the academics we look at because we want to make sure nobody gets hurt academically during SBI because um, the courses are included in your GPA. And then the other things are just complementary to the application. Does that, does that help? Um, I guess if no one else has any questions, um, we want to thank you for coming. Um, this was, if you haven't, I guess are you guys all like perfected and thinking about it? Because I know we have some people here who already do SBI, kind of want to learn about the like, like, afterwards. But anyway, if you haven't attended like an info session or stopped by our tables or breakfast bars, lunch, 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 um, I encourage you to do that to learn more about the, the you know, the logistical information of the program. Um, and, <laughs> so um, again, thanks. And if you guys want to stay and like mingle afterwards with the panelists or anyone of us will be here, um, make sure you like us and follow us on Facebook. Grab some a lot of information. Yeah, please. Please, 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 please make sure you have a kind of a sign in sheet that you do that so that we're able to put you in contact with someone that has done SBI in the past in case you do have any questions that come up later. Yeah, we have ambassadors like in every major and stuff if you want to talk to them. Thanks. 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 Thanks.